guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a 2018 favorites video. I know it's like almost the end of January, but I haven't sat down to film a YouTube video in quite a long time and there's a few reasons for that. Basically, this is just going to be my favorite products and a few non-makeup slash beauty related things that that's going to be like at the end of the video too. I'm going to focus mainly on the makeup first, but basically like my favorite things of 2018 that I've used a lot have been a big part of like I guess my life kind of I don't know if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe so you can check out my other videos when I upload I promise I will go back to uploading consistently like I used to um, most likely every Monday like I was before but yeah so I think we should just hop right on into the video then so the way I'm gonna do this I'm gonna kind of go in like order of like the products of how I would apply it to my face just so I can kind of like keep track of everything so basically my first step of everything is always my eyebrows so we're just gonna start there and then we'll move on through like my routine of like my favorite products of the year so first off I started using this at the very end of 2017 but I kind of became like more skilled with it I guess throughout 2018 I have tried a few brow products before and I never liked any of them or how they worked but the Anastasia Brow Wiz I tried it and it has become my favorite eyebrow product that I have ever tried I have never liked another eyebrow product more than this the shade that I use is taupe but this eyebrow pencil I literally swear by it I think it's so easy to use and makes eyebrows so simple as much as I hate doing my eyebrows this makes it less painful than if I were to use any other product if you have been watching me for a while or even if you've like gone back and watched my old videos then you would know that the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation is my absolute holy grail foundation but this year I branched out and for this past year I branched out and I tried some new foundations rather than just using the exact same one all the time and I have two foundations that have become pretty far up on that list of foundations just below the Estee Lauder Dove Wear foundation and the first one I want to talk about is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation now I absolutely love this for multiple reasons one it is so inexpensive I think I got this for like three dollars which like to me that's a little scary like applying something that cheap to your face because like I don't know I'm really crazy about skincare and if you've also been watching me for a little while you know that I went on Accutane because I've had skin problems literally since I was like third fourth grade which is a really long time so I'm really crazy about the things that I put on my face and I worry all the time about putting things on my face but this foundation even though it seems like a cheap foundation just because it's so inexpensive honestly my face has absolutely no problems with it so if that's like a concern of yours do not worry this foundation for me has never made me break out whatsoever and it has really good coverage as well as it's matte but it's not like too drying to my face also another thing i absolutely love about this foundation my pores are literally like giant caves in my face which i cannot stand like i use a pore blurring primer and as much as that helps you know when your pores are as big as mine there's really not that much you can do but this foundation really helps out with that I've noticed that I've tried other foundations like I've gone back to old foundations and I've noticed that my pores look a lot bigger than when I use this foundation so I do really love this foundation and the shades that I have um, they are soft beige and golden beige now, this is just because I fake tan I am crazy about fake tanning I I don't know I just I'm really pale um, I'm Italian and the whole rest of my family can tan like practically like in their sleep like in the dark like I swear it's like they wake up and they're like two shades darker and I'm like how because I will sit outside for hours and I will become bright red and sunburnt and I will only end up with like the teeniest of a tan while the whole rest of my family like tans so easily and honestly I am so jealous of that so that's part of the reason why I fake tan um, it's like I didn't get the good tanning Italian jeans or something, but yeah, so this why the shades may seem slightly dark. So the foundation that I actually have on now is the Lancome, should I try, I don't know, I'm probably going to completely mess this up, Tiant Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. I'm so sorry if any of you know how to actually pronounce that and I mess it up completely because I can guarantee you I did. But 
this foundation right here. I absolutely love this foundation. Lancome was actually so kind to send it to me. And this foundation, the one that is in this shade 160, and this is like a little bit lighter than the other two shades. And this is a foundation that I love to use when I'm a little bit lighter. I absolutely love this foundation. It is exactly like the Wet n Wild foundation in the sense that it's matte, but it's not too mattifying where it makes me look like crusty and gross. And it also does a really good job at blurring out my humongous caves of pores. So I absolutely really love this foundation. I don't really have any like super duper favorite like bronzers or blushes. So we're just going to move on to highlighters. And this category, let me tell you, this is a pretty big category because if you know me, you know I love my highlighters. Like if I only could have one makeup product for the rest of my life, I would choose highlighter. And I feel like a lot of people think I'm insane for that. But to me, like just having like a nice kind of like highlight just really seals the deal for me. I don't know. I have a lot here. So I think we're going to start, um, I don't even know where to start. Um, we'll start with this. This is the Ofra Face and Body Mineral Shimmer in the shade White Diamond. And this is like a loose highlighter. And it comes in a container like this. There's like a little thingy that you can spin so you can choose how much comes out. And it is just a really gorgeous highlight. Um, like I said, it's in the shade White Diamond, and that's pretty much like an accurate description of how it looks. I really love this. Honestly, if you take a bunch on your brush and just like pack it on at first, it looks like you have a bunch of glitter on your face. But as you start blending it in, it literally becomes the most gorgeous blinding highlight in the world. And I absolutely love this. Like I said, I love highlight, and this is just an amazing product. I think next we're going to move on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. What's he barking at? I don't know. And as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit of use out of some of these shades. Ethereal is probably my favorite shade, but I love this palette. I love all of Anastasia's highlights. Let me tell you, they are all just incredible. Like, I am literally blown away all the time by their... Oh, my voice. What was that? I'm like a little sick right now, so bear with me. But I absolutely love this glow kit, especially because it has kind of like different shades. Why is everyone being so loud? But I especially love this because it has some like fun shades in it and I've really been kind of playing around with different colors of highlighters as I've been like branching out in the type of makeup that I do. I have the Moonchild Glow Kit as well, which kind of reminds me of this, but I feel like this is kind of like an upgraded version of the Moonchild Glow Kit. So like I said, I really, really love this glow kit. Okay, so the next colors I'm gonna talk about are for highlighters and the two that I'm going to talk about today are a collab with Nikki Tutorials. The two that I have right here are in the shades Space Baby and Cloud9. Cloud9 is like a pink highlighter and Space Baby is like a blue highlighter. Um, you might be able to tell which one I actually like a little bit more which is the Space Baby highlighter. It's the blue one. But I absolutely love these highlighters. I've been, like I said, I really love like colored highlighters recently and these are so good. They really show off the color without giving you that kind of like dark cast that some colored highlighters do. So I really love these. I think these are really good quality highlighters. And I've actually tried, oh well, there's this highlighter, it's loose highlighter, so it kind of falls a little bit of a different category. But I have a couple other Ofra highlighters that I am not going to mention because I already have like a million highlighters to mention. But I absolutely love Ofra highlighters in general. They are really good quality. I don't know, I feel like Ofra is just a really good brand for highlighters. The next brand I'm going to talk about, or the next highlighters I'm going to talk about, is from a brand that you will see mentioned multiple times in the upcoming like categories of this video. I recently first tried his products this summer and I have become absolutely obsessed with the brand. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's one of my favorite brands at this point. I just absolutely adore his products. I, they are always such good quality. And the brand in specific that I'm talking about is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I just recently, like I said, I just jumped on this bandwagon recently. My, okay, I only have two highlighters from him. I want so many more, believe me. Um, I have the Lavender Snow Skin Frost. And I absolutely love this one. This one is more for when I have a darker tan just because it's a little bit of a darker shade and I will swatch it for you. It is a gorgeous purple highlight. I don't know, you can't really tell exactly how purple it is on camera, but it's like a silvery purple. And the next highlighter that I have from him, sorry, it might be a little controversial, but I actually need to open this with tweezers because I don't know why, just for some reason it doesn't open. 
Okay. The next highlight I have from him is his collab with Manny MUA and, you know, the whole thing there. But I still absolutely love and support both of them. Sorry, my ring's like turned, so I had to fix them. Um, I absolutely love and support both of them, but this is the Eclipse Skin Frost, and I'll swatch this for you as well. I absolutely love this highlighter. Like, I love it to death. It is such a gorgeous shade. I don't really use it in my looks just because, I don't know, I feel a little bit weird about using this specific highlighter. Um, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't feel weird about it, but I don't know. It's just one of my favorite highlighters. I absolutely love the shade. I think it looks good, like, amazing on my skin. There's a few highlighters, and it's kind of, like, iffy, like... I can only really wear it if I have a darker tan just because it's a little bit of a darker highlight. But this one works good no matter how like pale or if I have a little bit of a tan. So I really love this one. I think it is a great highlighter and I really want to get more from him super duper soon. I just tried to wipe that off my hand and now I have highlighter on not only both of my fingers but my hand so I'm going to wipe that off. Okay so we have three more highlighters to cover and then we're moving on to just scratch my foundation right now. And then we're moving on to other products. Um, so I promise this video is not going to be all highlighters. The next highlighter that I absolutely love is the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. And as you can tell, this one has gotten a lot of love. I really love this highlighter. It's just a gorgeous golden highlight. Goldish highlights don't usually work too well on me, especially when I'm like a lot lighter if I have absolutely no tan. But this one works when I have absolutely no tan on. It looks gorgeous and still gives me like a light enough highlight where it doesn't look like stupid and like I don't know how to apply highlighter or don't know how to pick my shade. So it still looks like golden and gorgeous. So I absolutely love this one. Now, another highlighter that has gotten a whole lot of love. I've even hit pan. It's like a very, very like minuscule dot, probably like the size of a pin. Um, so you probably can't see it on camera. But I have hit pan on this because I am so obsessed with this highlighter. I pretty much lather my body. Usually when I'm wearing shirts like this that are like off the shoulder shirts, I will put it like on my collarbones. I will put it all over my shoulders. And sometimes I even kind of like put it like right here up the middle of my neck or on like either side of the middle of my neck. I'm crazy about highlighter. But this highlighter, this is the Jouer Citrine Highlight, and it is probably my favorite highlight out of like every one that I've ever tried. I was on a roll of using this for like maybe like four months, like on repeat, and never using another highlighter, like not even like a colored highlighter for fun, like it was just this one. So that can kind of tell you how much I love this highlighter. It is my absolute favorite, and I don't know, there's so many good things I could say about it. It is honestly like the most perfect, amazing highlighter ever. And finally, a highlight that I have been loving recently, and this is probably my second favorite highlighter, it comes in this palette here by Beauty Bakery. It's called the Milk and Honey Palette. And as I'm sure you can guess from the last like 10 products that I've shared, this is a highlighting palette. And my favorite shade, I actually haven't tried the other shades because I've been so obsessed with this one, but this one is the shade Spoiler Alert. And it reminds me a lot of the Jouer Citrine Highlight. It is so pigmented. It is just like a nice, bright, glowy highlight. And I am insanely obsessed with this. I say I'm obsessed about everything. My mom literally just pointed that out. But when I say I'm obsessed, it's because like I genuinely am obsessed. Like there's a lot of things that I really, really love to the point of like I'm obsessed with it. And there's those products that's just like absolutely not. Like that doesn't work for me. But like if I'm obsessed with something, it's because it's really that good. So yeah, I love this. I guess I can't really say I love the palette because I haven't tried any other shades from the palette, but I absolutely love that shade in the palette. I'm probably going to try to try the other shades if I can pull myself away from that one. But yeah, this, oh, not to mention the fact that, look at this, I love when there's little things like pressed in the pans, and it's like one of those little like honeycomb, like honey grabber things. I don't know what it's called. It says milk and honey, and I think that is just the most adorable thing ever. But yeah, obsessed. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this large, I mean large, stack of highlighters. And I'm just gonna, oh dear, set this off to the side. Okay, so next we are moving on to eyeshadow palettes. And I'm going to be starting out with a palette from the brand that I previously mentioned that I have a newfound obsession with. And that is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And 
This palette in particular is the Thirsty palette. I love the packaging. I love how it's like a popsicle and how there's like little like water droplets all over the top of it. And I love how it's like the words thirsty are melting and I don't know, it's very aesthetically pleasing. And the inside, oh dear. The inside looks absolutely trashed and disgusting, but you can tell how much I love this palette. I'm gonna make a quick little disclaimer here. I don't really love the middle row. For some reason, they didn't really work for me. As you can see, most of them are kind of like relatively untouched. I scraped a few of them. For some reason, they didn't really work for me. So I just don't use those. But anyway, so the two like rows, the top and the bottom, I guess if you're looking at one, it's this way. Um, but the top and the bottom rows, the matte shades, those are some of the best matte shades I have ever tried. I love how bright and colorful they are. They are so pigmented, and as you can probably tell, the shades Quench and Submerge are like my two favorites. I also love Splash, and these two shades are also some of my favorites, but I really in particular love these three, like the yellow, blue, and kind of like turquoisey shade. I absolutely love those so much. As you can see, this palette has been loved so much. I use it so many times for summer looks, so like I really can't wait until it's summer again so I can really like break out this palette again. Honestly, I may have to get another one just because I use this so much. This, by the way, was the first product that I tried from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I don't believe I mentioned that when I first introduced the palette, but this is the first product I tried from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I fell in love with like the packaging and everything when I saw his release video. So this was the first one that I was like, okay, I really got to try this brand. And I am so glad I did because after I tried this, it was just like all like, I just like dove head first into the brand. Okay. So before we move on to like another brand, I'm not going to like dive too far into depth with these two palettes, but I think some honorable mentions for 2018 would be the Alien palette in the Blood Sugar palette. Um, I even keep the Blood Sugar palette in the cute little like case thingy that it came in. But I love this palette just because of like how cute the packaging is and the shades. I love all the warm tones in here. It's like all you could ever need for warm tones. And I have a feeling I'm going to be breaking this out a lot for my Valentine's Day looks that are coming up soon. The only sad thing is, literally within the first five minutes of me getting this, like the little latch on this side broke off and that honestly makes me so sad because now I only have one latch but still I absolutely love that palette and I absolutely love the alien palette as you can see the palette is absolutely gorgeous I have been called an alien many times in my life people say I look like an alien and frankly I kind of agree with them um, I've kind of accepted the whole thing and I now have an obsession with aliens so honestly I feel like this palette was just made for me I mean we look kind of similar, don't we? But I love this palette. I also do, in general, have an obsession with like outer space and kind of like extraterrestrial, like supernatural kind of things. So I just absolutely love the whole theme for this palette. Besides the fact that I am an alien myself, I have an obsession with that kind of stuff. So I just really love the palette and all the shade names and even like the little like press things into the pans. I mentioned this earlier. I love when things are pressed in the pans. I just think it is so cute. So yeah, just thought I would quick mention those as well. As you can see, I really did dive head first. I really dove off the deep end into Jeffree Star Cosmetics. The next palette I am going to mention of 2018 is the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette. One thing that I really like grabbed my attention about this palette is how the shades are organized where it's all the colors over here, all the neutrals over here. The colors have been loved a lot more than the neutrals because I just don't really use neutrals that much anymore. But also these two shimmer shades. I love how it kind of like divides up the whole thing. I love um, the shimmer shades though, especially this one, Beat. That one is absolutely insanely gorgeous. And I feel like this yellow shade here, Can Be, is like really kind of like the first like yellow shade that really like grabbed my attention. And then after that kind of like followed up with Quench from the Thirsty palette and then a yellow shade from the palette that I'm going to be mentioning next. I absolutely love this palette. These shades are amazing and super blendable, and I just really love the whole combination here. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I absolutely love Manny. I really genuinely support him, and I thought it was so cool and he was finally coming out with his own brand. I absolutely love the packaging. It's so, like, sturdy and cute as well. Like, for me, packaging is a, like, big deal. It can have, like, the most pigmented, amazing eyeshadows in the entire world inside the palette, but if the packaging is bad, like, I just won't use it. Just because, like, for me, if I pick up a palette and I'm going to open it and it just feels like awful packaging, 
then I'm literally just gonna close it and put it back down and probably never touch it again. Because like, if I don't feel, not like necessarily luxurious, but like, if I don't feel like good quality while I'm holding it and using it, then like, I'm not gonna wanna use it. So this packaging is like really good quality, which I absolutely love about it. And like I said, the shades are incredible. And overall, I'm really proud of Manny for this being his first product, how amazing it was. And then next, the moment you have all been waiting for, or at least the moment I've been waiting for, a product made by probably, I mean, not even probably, like without a doubt, my like favorite beauty guru. This is the Morphe James Charles palette. I am obsessed with this palette. Hold on, let me open it and you will really see how obsessed I am with this palette. Especially that white shade. I mean, come on, I have never used a better white shade in my entire life. You can see how loved this palette has been. I am almost at pan on that red shade right there. I'm honestly gonna probably take like a makeup wipe and try to go around all the shades and around like the lid or the whatever, what the heck is it called? The like cover, I don't, I sound like such an idiot. I don't know what it was called. The like, the top, like, like the flippy thing that covers the palette. What the heck is it called? I don't know what it's called. But I'm probably just gonna have to go over the whole thing with a makeup wipe just because it looks pretty nasty. But this palette, I don't even know like where to begin or like what exactly to say because I feel like it's so obvious already like how amazing this palette is. Like you have absolutely every shade you could ever use. Like, and that is why I've been using this palette so much. Like, you have every color of the rainbow in multiple shades. You have your neutrals, which I personally have only used like once or twice just because I'm not really a neutrals person. And you have probably the most pigmented black shadow I've ever used in my life. You have the most pigmented white eyeshadow I have ever used in my life. Sorry, I'm like pointing at it, it was off camera. And then you have all these like gorgeous neutral shades. Um, also, this highlighter, insane. Except I dug my nail into it, I don't know if you can tell. That made me really sad when I did that. This is just something that everyone needs in their life. Like, if you love makeup, then you need this palette. They're so pigmented, so blendable. This palette is honestly my absolute favorite palette. It is my Holy Grail palette. I mean, even before this palette, I absolutely loved Morphe as a brand. Morphe is one of my favorite brands. And like I said, James Charles is my favorite beauty influencer. So just the two of them coming together and then the product that came out of it. I mean, honestly, this is, I'm going to say it, this is the best product of 2018. I was going to say 2019. Of 2018. Probably 2019 too. Probably like forever in history, honestly. Like I'm... This probably sounds like I'm being like over dramatic, but like I'm not gonna lie, this palette like is just complete perfection. So, okay, so while we're still with the whole kind of like eyes topic, um, moving on from eyeshadows though, first thing I want to talk about is the Sufa Beauty Hydro Liners. Now I have a lot more shades in this, but I obviously wasn't gonna bring all of them out. So these are just a few like my favorite like colored um, hydro liners, and basically what these are, they are water activated like paints and you could use them on your face, you could use them on your eyes, you could use them all over your whole body. These are absolutely amazing. I activate them. I was using the Evian spray water for a while but then I ended up running out so I was too lazy to get more. Um, now I just use my MAC Fix Plus which I'm actually almost out of this too. I just use it, I spray it in there a couple times and it activates and the amazing thing about these is that they are really pigmented but if you add more of like your water or activator whatever it is then you can kind of like tone it down a little bit so it's more of like a watercolory type effect or you can just go full pigmented and only use like a couple sprays just to like activate it enough where it's like it's activated and usable but all the pigments are like the water is not kind of like washing it out a little bit so i do absolutely love these i've been using these so often in my looks um i'm honestly probably going to go purchase a few more because i think i have most of the shades but i don't have all of them so why not go back and get more and then another thing I have been really obsessed with is by the brand Peaches Makeup and in particular I well I love all of their pigments or at least the three that I have I say all of them as if I've tried all of them I love all of the three that I've tried the shades that I have are Mermaids, Fangulus, and Cinderella and the packages are so cute I will open one up just so you can see like the actual like 
pigments itself. It just comes in these cute little containers like that. I keep them in the boxes because the boxes are absolutely adorable. My personal favorite is the Mermaid's pigment. I use this so much. It is a gorgeous like bluishy kind of pigment and it's really gorgeous to either just like put over your whole face or just use this like a subtle like little inner corner highlight so basically it just depends on how crazy you are with this a little bit goes a long way so like you may think that like the containers are a little bit small but really it lasts for such a long time i go crazy with these and i still have a lot more left so yeah i definitely really love these and i really want to try more of their pigments like sometime soon and then finally the last thing for eyes i have this in a sample because i've really been like milking it which the irony. I've kind of been like milking it with this product because I love spending money but I also don't like spending money so I didn't want to have to get like the full size because like I know I'm gonna need more of this super soon but um this is by Milk Makeup and it is their Kush Mascara. I love this mascara so much I feel like it genuinely does like kind of nourish my eyelashes and make them super like kind of what's the word? I guess moisturized feeling. I feel like they feel a lot like I guess softer. Like it's not like you sit there and like run your hands through your eyelashes, but I feel like they do feel a lot like softer than they did before I started using this mascara, if that makes sense. And this one is really amazing because it really lengthens your eyelashes, but it doesn't make them like clumpy, which I have had a problem with before, where it's like when it really lengthens your eyelashes and you need to like go back with like a clean like spoolie to take out all the clumps because no one likes clumpy mascara. But with this you don't have that problem whatsoever. So that is like pretty much the main reason why I absolutely love this mascara. It is so lengthening and not clumpy and leaves my eyelashes like feeling really nice afterwards. The next thing we're going to be talking about are lipsticks or in this case liquid lipsticks to carry on with the whole new obsession these are my jeffree star cosmetics liquid lipsticks i have quite a few considering i just recently discovered that i really love the brand but i want all of them probably eventually gonna get all of them here they are in all of their glory i'm actually wearing um, this one right here it is the shade celebrity skin and I love this shade. It is probably my favorite nude lipstick. I think it really like complements like my skin tone and just overall looks really good. Sorry, I'm like looking down because I'm trying to get them all in one hand. It's not so well. These are the ones that I have. I absolutely love these liquid lipsticks because they are matte, but they're not too matte. My lips naturally, there's like a hair floating. My lips naturally have a lot of wrinkles in them, so sometimes matte liquid lipsticks can make them look really like dry and crusty, like I haven't like moisturized them or put chapstick on in like years. But that's really not the case because I always apply chapstick. I have my Carmex right here. But these, while I still emphasize the wrinkles on my lips a little bit, because I understand like no matte liquid lipsticks not gonna emphasize that. It's significantly a lot less than any other liquid lipstick not to mention the fact these are actually comfortable to wear like half the time I don't even notice that I'm wearing it and that's saying a lot because a lot of times I find liquid lipsticks or lipsticks in general just kind of like uncomfortable to wear but these I feel like I don't even notice they're there and on top of it they are so long wearing to the point where it's like I can kiss my dog on the nose and there's not gonna be like a lipstick left behind and people are gonna think this is gross he frequently has like snot coming out of his nose and he also like leaks his nose so sometimes it's a little damp and even when I kiss like his damp like doggy nose it like doesn't come off so like you can tell this is pretty darn long wearing and sometimes it's also like a pain to get off because it's so long wearing and like really stays through absolutely everything so to me that is really a sign of a good liquid lipstick and I feel like it fits all of my like criteria for a good liquid lipstick so holy grail liquid lipstick products right here like I said I haven't found anything that I don't like from Jeffree Star Cosmetics so I really wish I would have tried them out sooner and then the other liquid lipsticks that I absolutely love I have been using these probably since like a couple months after I posted my first video so I've been using these for quite a while but they have still stayed really far up on my list of favorites these are the ColourPop Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks and um, these aren't all the ones I have I just picked out like a few of my favorite shades I love these because like I said matte liquid lipsticks can get really crusty looking on me and unfortunately their ultra matte liquid lipsticks do that to me 
but the ultra satin does not although it is not like long wearing in the sense like it doesn't transfer like it does last quite a while but like if you're gonna eat if you're gonna kiss your dog on the nose like it's gonna come off which is slightly unfortunate but like I understand because it's like a satin finish so it's not completely matte looking but it's also not glossy looking which I do really love too so that is why like this is like on my top I feel like nothing will ever like really knock these down because these have been a favorite of mine for quite a while even in the beginning when I didn't know too much about makeup or liquid lipsticks these were the first liquid lipsticks that I ever tried and I feel like the fact that I still really like them is saying a lot considering I didn't know much about liquid lipsticks the first time I tried them and I really loved them all the way back then and now even after I've experimented with lots of different liquid lipsticks I still really love these so I feel like that just goes to show how amazing of a formula these are so I do recommend if you like matte-ish liquid lipsticks but don't like really really matte I would definitely recommend trying these out because it's kind of like a satin finish it's nice and affordable I believe they're like seven dollars a piece which most liquid lipsticks are like 18 to 20 so these are super affordable you can get like three of them for the price of one from other brands like no shade other brands like Jeffree Star Cosmetics I love you but you can get like three of these for the price of one from most other brands so if you were just trying liquid lipsticks for the first time I definitely recommend starting out with Color Public. I did you will not regret it I promise you and then that is actually it for the makeup portion the next thing I want to talk about is something I have been obsessed with just in like the recent few months. I have had long claw like nails for quite some time now and ever since I got them on, um, like I had them on for like a few months and then I had them off for like a year-ish and then I got them back on and ever since I got them back on the second time I have like, like the most I've gone without them is like two days. Like I literally cannot function without my claws. It's honestly insane. But one problem with that is it's really expensive going to the nail salon and when you go to the nail salon they typically like they'll crack in the middle or they'll start like peeling off which the peeling off thing that's not really a problem because you can just glue that back on but when they crack down the middle even though you can kind of glue that back together it looks like crusty and gross because like there's a giant crack down the middle of your nail. So that was my problem and I'm really lazy I don't like going places too much so going to the nail salon all the time and then sitting there for like two hours while I did my nails honestly like I have ADD and my mind just like it cannot handle sitting in one place for that long with like little to no entertainment like I could sit in my bed all day but that's because I have like YouTube videos I'll work on school I'll look through Instagram like there's so many things keep me preoccupied by the nail salon you are literally like reading the subtitles of like a soap opera or like trying to listen on other people's conversations and my brain just like can't handle that for that long so like I really dreaded going to the nail salon okay after that like long rant I'm finally gonna get to the actual like thing that I've been loving I have been loving press on nails and these as you can see Treshi talons and these I actually the ones I have on right now are from that brand too these are the purple jelly nails and these right here, they don't sell these anymore. It was like a limited edition thing, except they did say that they might be coming back. So if you really like these, then definitely like follow their Instagram. This is like not sponsored at all. I just really, really love them. These are their glow stick talons. And as you can see, like the tops are all like clear. It's like French nails, but instead of like your traditional, like the top of the French nail, it's all colors and they're like clear. I really love clear nails and you can see like these are clear nails too. Yeah, so I've been loving press on nails because they are a lot less expensive than going to get them like professionally done and they stay on for just as long. I literally like I bought like in bulk the like actual nail glue that they use to attach like the tips of your nails for the acrylic nails at the nail salon and actually when you buy these nails they come with like a little um, glue bottle. I have like an overabundance of those at this point, but they stay for quite a while and these, they do tend to like sometimes come off the back, but unlike the nail salon ones, they don't like crack down the middle. So if they do come off, you could just like re-glue them right back on. And I leave them on for usually like three to four weeks. I just like re-glue one on if one pops off for some reason. Besides the fact that like you can reuse these, like I've already worn these for like a month and they're just back in their little container until like whenever I want to wear them again. Honestly, I am so proud of myself for like stumbling upon that little like life hack there. Um, I don't believe I will ever be going back to a nail salon unless I like have enough money and patience to go to a real nail salon, but I mean, I don't think I could ever get 
occasions. So I'll probably yeah, honestly never go back to a nail salon, maybe on like special occasions. But since I've discovered press on nails, my life has changed drastically. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics Shocker. It is their Velour Lip Scrubs. And I have two of them. I have the Candy Necklace one and the Eggnog one. Personally, I love the Candy Necklace one. These, the Eggnog one is really good too, but the Candy Necklace one, I'm obsessed with like sugary things. This one is amazing. Like you could literally just like scoop out. Like I have like the perfect like scooping finger. Amazing. That's probably gross. I could literally sit here and like eat the whole thing, but I refrain from doing so because it's probably not the best idea. But they are edible, hence why I just ate a big scoop. And they make my lips really soft. They also, like when they're exfoliating, they kind of like, when I say this, it's gonna sound bad. They kind of like irritate your lips a little bit. And like, not like in a bad way. It's just kind of like plumps them up because it's like exfoliating, kind of just like making the blood flow through your lips, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it, but I feel like a lot of people would kind of understand what I mean. But I absolutely love these. I want to get so many more. I feel like I say that about everything. Like, I want more of everything. It's like I catch on to something that I really like, and I can't help myself. It's like I need to have all of them. So I think the next one I want to get is the Lemon Icebox Cookies, one of these. But it has been sold out every time I try to get it. So yeah. And then, as I've mentioned a few times before, I fake tan. This has become my favorite, like, tanner brand. It is Tanologist, and they were so kind to send me these. And I was so excited because I have an obsession with fake tan and they had emailed me and asked if they could send me some tanning products and I was literally like over the moon happy because obsessed like I'm addicted to fake tanning but yeah you can see it is almost gone so I need to get more because it's probably only gonna last me one more tanning time and I am tanning tonight after this video so Lord pray for me because this brand is from the UK so I'm not sure how long shipping takes um, I tan every week, so hopefully it's gonna get here within the next week, by the time I tan next week. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I love this tanner. It has, like, minimal smell to it, and I hate fake tanner smell. Like, as much as I love fake tanning, I hate the smell. And this one has, like, minimal smell to it, and it is also clear, as you can see. This is for, like, face and, like, your hands, and this is for, like, the rest of your body. You can see that this one is kind of, like, a milky one, this one. This one is like clear and that is amazing because my sheets will look disgusting after I used to tan with other tanners because the like um like color guard would rub off on my sheets and there would be like a big like brown disgusting patch on my white sheets but this does not do that because it does not have that. So I feel like you do need to be a little bit more skilled when applying this or at least be able to like really remember where you're applying it because since there's no color guard you can't see like oh I applied it here like oh I missed this tiny spot like you just need to know you make sure you like cover everything otherwise you'll wake up in the morning and you'll be like tan with like a bunch of patchiness so you need to make sure like with the clear tanners that you are like really diligent about covering every spot but overall I'm absolutely obsessed with this tanner it really only takes one hour to start developing so it's like over the course like even says in the bottle one two three four hours so like four hours is like the darkest it's gonna get if you leave it on any darker than that or any longer than that it's not gonna get darker I usually do it overnight so I leave it on for probably like seven hours and it just like stays at like the four hour mark or whatever because like it's fully developed but yeah it's really nice because if one week you decide that you want a little bit of a lighter tan but you don't want to get like a lighter tanner like you don't want to spend money on it you could just choose to leave this on for a little bit less time or the next week if you want a little bit of a darker tan then you can choose to leave it on for a little bit longer so I think that's what's especially really nice about this but yeah Tanologist is my new favorite tanning brand and finally the last thing I want to talk about is actually an app they were so kind to sponsor this video I've had this app since a little bit over the beginning of 2018 the sentence didn't make sense since the end of 2017 and I've used it all throughout 2018 it is called Sweatcoin and basically what Sweatcoin is it is an app that if you don't know this your phone automatically has like a little health app built into it and it like tracks your steps like you can it can sense your movement and stuff like that so it tracks your steps when you walk anywhere and Sweatcoin basically like pairs with that app and it takes the data from your steps and turns it into money which I mean how amazing is that like when I first heard about the app I was like are you kidding me like that's too good to be true 
but in fact it is not so basically you earn like money for the amount of steps you walk so like you don't even have to do anything like literally just go about your normal day and as you're like just walking and doing the things you normally would you are earning money like is that not the coolest thing ever like I don't know I thought it was because I'm lazy like I don't like going on my way to do things and with this all I have to do is just go about my normal day and I'm earning money so basically what the app is um sorry if you see me like looking at my phone or like looking down it's because I'm like the screen I'm putting you see is like live time so I'm just kind of going through the app while I'm explaining it to you so basically here's your homepage, and it's kind of cool it like goes like this if you like turn your phone a little like you can see I don't know sorry it's like the simple things that like really intrigue me this is basically like the home page and I basically have not moved very much today I basically spent all day on the couch so I haven't taken too many steps unfortunately um my bad because I'm like lazy but here you can see that I have earned two cents today which you know on the day where I wasn't sitting on the couch that would be a lot better but here you can see also your money you've made and you can earn money from people adding you on sweatcoin which I will actually leave a link down below um you it is like kind of like an affiliate type of link where if you download the app through that code I get five dollars and you get five dollars so it's like multi-beneficial type thing but basically it tracks like in that little this little like scroll thing it tracks like the money that you make from other people adding you and also you can see it says a daily bonus right here that one dollar daily bonus is from these little challenges they have there's actually a new update too where it's like if you do multiple days in a row for the daily bonus it like adds up it like doubles for the amount that you can earn so right there i just clicked to earn my double daily type of thing and right now all i have to do is literally like watch an ad and it's basically kind of just like checking in for the day you just sit through like a little like 15 second ad and it will give you your coins or your sweat coins so just gonna sit here and watch this. See, there you go. All you do, then you press a little X, and there you go. You can see right there. I have my $2 daily bonus from watching that ad right there. And basically, that's it. Like, it is so simple, yet so ingenious you don't have to do much and you can make money who doesn't love like basically effortless money so once again i like to thank sweatcoin for sponsoring this video i have been using the app for quite some time like i said like over a year sorry there's like a highlighter on my phone but i've been using the app for over a year now and i definitely would recommend trying it if you like money i mean who doesn't you don't have to do anything extra you can just go about your daily business like i've mentioned that like four times before but i think that's like the coolest thing about the app like some of these things it's like you have to do extra work to earn the money but like this is like the lazy person's like guide to earning money like literally just carry your phone on you like you probably already do and bam you like earned instant money yeah so i will leave a link down below to download the app and that is it for this video i have a feeling this video is going to be so long i have been filming for about an hour now and since this is a talking video there's not really things sped up so i'm <laughs> pretty sure it's gonna be like a 45 minute long video my apologies maybe not i don't know if you like 45 minute long videos i have been like 45 minutes it's a little bit excessive but there's a lot to talk about in this one so i'm gonna end this off here before i drag you on too long but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said at the beginning, I promise I will be going back to posting weekly again. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much you who have like stuck around or the ones who have continued to subscribe even though I haven't posted a new video recently. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that like more than anything in the entire world. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one in a week. Like how it was supposed to be and how it will continue to be. So yeah. Bye.